if uh, I use a color to describe Wuhan, I will think, of course, green. My name is Sara Plato. I'm a professor of Animal Behavior and Welfare at the College of Life Science at Zhanghai University. And I live in Wuhan for the past 10 years. Wuhan is the perfect place to actually hold COP14. Is a city that is basically built on the water. It has a, a lot of river, a lot of lakes, wetlands. Basically, it's an image of Wuhan. I always had this uh, uh, particular interest uh, and uh, attraction to protect animals. Uh, I discovered there is uh, a huge incidence of dog bites every year, everywhere in the world. I create a story, Matteo in Doggy World, that then became a book, and where I introduced to the children the, the concept of how to recognize the dog body language. And so from 2017, every year, we have organized uh, the uh, rabies campaign. Today, I would like to introduce you two of my neighbors who helped me very much during the first Wuhan lockdown. <laughs> How are you? Hi. <laughs> Shiming, he's the person that uh, who during the uh, lockdown, uh, he brought to me like a bag of spaghetti and tomato and he brought uh, a very nice note, a very famous note because it's been uh, published everywhere. Uh, Sarah be strong, China will solve the problem. And uh, uh, Wen, <laughs> she was also very nice. One of the biggest, uh, oldest publishing house in Italy, and they approached me and they said, would you be interested to write a book for teenagers where you describe uh, your experience in Wuhan with the eyes of your son? And so I said, yes, why not? The name of the book is Good Morning Wuhan. Zao Han Wuhan. I want to show like uh, the compassionate uh, behavior of people trying to help and to support each other in a hard moment. In um, September 2020, I uh, received uh, the uh, Chinese uh, Government Friendship Award. I was so surprised because uh, this award is the highest uh, recognition for uh, the work of foreigners in China by Chinese government, making me like a bridge between uh, Italy and China. Since the first time I arrived in Wuhan, I, and till now, I saw a big change because the tall building and the bridges and all the modernization that, you know, in these 10 years happened. I know, for example, Wuhan uh, government paid more care about, uh, like, uh, the environment and, uh, for example, organizing, uh, like, area where the people can bike for long kilometers. Uh, I would like to be the person who actually create the bridge for the future collaboration on the animal welfare field between Italy and China or China and the rest of Europe.